Hey guys, uh, coming to you from the former site of uh, General Nathan Goff's house. I'll show you around right now. Uh, it's uh, become a little part. Um, of course, Nathan Goff was a brevet general uh, in the Civil War. And then um, I believe he was Secretary of the Navy under Rutherford B. Hayes. He's a big oil and gas guy. Built the Waldo, built the golf, uh, golf building, some buildings downtown. Um, him, uh, he founded Hope Gas, which later uh, was merged into Dominion Energy. And their headquarters is right here next door. They used to former headquarters. Um, so after you know he died and the property passed on, Hope Gas gradually accumulated shares of this house and. and old uh, golf woman died in the mid 90s uh hope gas got uh, control of the property and demolished it um people objected but their objections didn't uh succeed obviously uh his his personal library was taken apart and is now in the basement of west virginia uh, state history museum in charleston uh so i, I was talking earlier about how when um, companies fortify themselves against the population, it's a pretty good sign they're gonna leave. That's actually what happened here, okay? When the building was torn down, Hope Gas said, we'll make a, a, a public area available, um, real nice public park available to people. Well, they gated it, they fenced it in, they gated it and it was guarded and only employees could use it. Um, it wasn't available to the public until just recently. Um, they gave the building the Board of Education, which is just an enormous building. The Board of Education does not come close to using it. And there's a his Clarksburg History Museum in there. Pretty much all this tax base that was paying tax to the county is now paying tax to Jerry Duff to, to uh, White Oaks Tiff. <laughs> uh, so you, you start wondering why Clarksburg's always short on its bills. It's because our tax base left, okay? Um, I'll show you around this park real quick. I looked around. I didn't see any needles. And I, as far as I can tell, there's no uh, no fornication going on here. But maybe a couple birds getting it on. I don't know. Uh, and you know, this guy. What really struck me when I was reading that book, he said, you know, a company that fortifies itself against the city will almost inevitably leave. And they always use the same stated reasons. Um, we want a new facility uh, in a more natural setting. Um, modern technology, you know, help us retain talent. And he's, he noticed that uh, usually whenever a, a corporation like that relocated to the suburbs, it was within five to 15 miles of the CEO's house. <laughs> While a lot of the workers still lived in New York City and had to commute. So it wasn't really about maintaining talent, although they said that. Um, <laughs> and he noticed that usually those uh, companies lost their dynamism and fell out of the Fortune 500 a lot of times. Um, and the reasons for that is, you know, downtowns have a synergy where people could go to coffee or go to happy hour after lunch and mix with other people downtown and get ideas and, and 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 that is what creates the dynamism and growth in companies and in cities it's worth noting that uh, dominion sold to berkshire hathaway last year i'll holler at you later